Hello, everyone. Uh, myself, Chirag Jogi. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss one of our case study, Super Asia. They're based out of uh, Canada, uh, Toronto. And uh, they are also a distributor. And how we have improved their ROI by 30% by streamlining the warehouse management, pallet tracking, the whole backend operations. So let's go in detail. Before that, I would like to quickly brief about uh, our company, Brainware Infotech. So we, we are based out of uh, Canada, we are based out of USA, and uh, we have presence locally in multiple regions of the country. So in uh, Europe, we are in Netherlands, Greece, UK. We are having office in Toronto, Singapore, uh, India, and Middle East as well. Overall, people-wise, we are 1,800 people in-house team uh, in the market from last 22 years, and lots of awards, credentials that we have received received recently, which is kind of uh, outstanding customer satisfaction by Udu. And uh, we got around 200 plus customers, testimonials, reviews, rating on Clutch. So everything is publicly available. We are a kind of gold partner in uh, Udu and uh, worldwide. We do other services as well. If it took about uh, Udu proficiency, so we are having a strong thing of uh, 350 people, very strong in consultation, technical, functional, Around out of that, uh, 180s are certified consultant. We did around 250 live projects on top of Udu, and lots of integration that we did. So around 80 plus integrations we did. In that, we talk about e-commerce, marketplace, payment gateway, shipping gateway, EDI, uh, automations uh, with the robots. That kind of integration that we have did with Udu. To talk about myself, I'm a delivery head, taking care of all ERP division. In uh, overall, having 13 years of experience, specifically into Udu, and uh, very strong into retail manufacturing distribution domain. And my core expertise in giving consultation, talking about the requirement, defining the architecture, and the solution. So the case study that I'm today going to talk about is uh, Super Asia. They are based out of Toronto, established in 1994, and they are very big in terms of wholesale distributor across North America. So what the business model is, they procure materials, groceries, spices, from uh, Southern Asia, which is India, Pakistan, the related uh, countries, and they export or they distribute across the North America. So they, they are the uh, they, have, they are selling to the customers like Walmart, Fresco, Sobeys, Costco, and uh, lots of other different different channels they have. Main forte into B2B, so 80% of their business is B2B. 20% will be B2C. We only did the uh, Odoo e-commerce website for them, and uh, lots of customers log in over there. They have given B2B portal as well, so B2B reseller can log into Odoo website, can uh, place an order in a bulk different different price list, different different customer segmentations, all these things that we have done. Uh, they have lock means in-house uh, walk-in presence as well, where we are given a point of sale solution to them. In today's agenda, we are going to specifically talk about the technical challenges that we have faced overall in execution, in terms of uh, implementation, how we mitigate that, what kind of key features that we implemented on top of Voodoo, the solution that we have given as a, as a brainware company, uh, what kind of value addition that we have given to this project, I will talk about that, and the results, how Super Asia benefited because of our implementation. So before Voodoo, they were using NetSuite, and uh, the struggle was, as you know, the NetSuite is very kind of high license cost, in terms of feature-wise, as, as you compare with Udu, so they were struggling with lots of inventory management feature. The traceability of stock, they have two locations, one in Toronto, one in Calgary. So if, as an owner, I want to see consolidated my inventory on hand, what kind of stock that I have in my this location, what is a, uh, what is a stock valuation, what is a stock movement, how much pallet that I have in my this warehouse, there is nothing available in NetSuite which the company which we were struggling and the user were that much frustrated, like each operation or each orders when they were delivering, it was taking too much time. And they are having like 
three or four containers daily in a, in a purchase order they are getting, and thousands of orders daily they are distributing. So imagine like doing such kind of big scale of uh, process and delivery, if the system is not capable enough to work fast enough or having a kind of detailed manner of operation, automation, then it's a challenge. So we given a solution, we given a, a kind of uh, done uh, gap analysis, discovery phase, we suggested Udo, and uh, we shown the Udo features which based mapping their business process. And uh, lots of other challenges that they are facing was uh, there was no kind of barcode management for each and every product scanning, lot scanning, uh, packet scanning. Uh, there are intercompany transfer between Calgary and Toronto, so there was not smooth kind of stock movement between two locations. And the pricing issue, the main concern of the owner was like, uh, uh, I just want to know because everything is first expiry, first out. How can I get in a report where I can see which are my products getting expired into upcoming three months, upcoming six months? What is the stock valuation of that? How can I uh, plan my removal process in a such a way that uh, the orders which are getting System can suggest me, okay, you can process this lot, you can pick from this location, this self. So there was a challenge in NetShoot before that uh, using Udo. How we have improved them in terms of migrating from NetShoot to Udo. So first of all, uh, we started consulting, we started asking them like, okay, use the standard thing. The most of the 70% of features can be surfaced from Udo default feature. 30% that we have done customization, and it is purely because of the, the need of the business process. And in that customization and automations, we did uh, pallet tracking. Each and every pallet have their own unique barcode, contains a lot of details as well. Uh, what is the product expiry? What kind of uh, variant it does have? Okay, what is the stock in that specific pallet? What are the packages? Like they sell in pack of 12, pack of 50. So what that contains, that product. So each and every detail we give her in a kind of uh, a printable format. Uh, we give her a kind of short delivery report. So it's very difficult uh, as an owner if, uh, if I have ordered, but I can, cannot uh, deliver that as a whole amount. For example, 1,000 quantity of order I received, but I can deliver only 800. It's not about like I don't have the 200 stock. It's more about like I don't have system which can be identified. Okay, this 200 has resides in this location or my different warehouse. So if visibility is there, then they can deliver the whole order, like total 100% of the order. But that was struggle. So we given a such kind of report, which are the which are the orders which they cannot deliver, or they can deliver partial manner, so they can take a better decision. Compliances that we added, so in Toronto that BCMV tax compliances was there, how they can uh, recycling deposit refund compliances can be implemented, so that custom feature that we did. They were uh, having so many walk-in customers, so for that we did Udo POS, and uh, in that a person can take an order in person, and from the touchscreen base we have given whole suit with the barcode, cash drawer, uh, scanning, all this thing. And uh, it can be done offline as well, so we do, given that facility. Uh, most of the reports that we given, so stock aging report, that stock how, from how many months or how many uh, period it resides into my that warehouse, so I can take decision, or what is the valuation of that. So that information we given in a kind of report or BI level uh, things that we're given in a pivot view. Uh, dashboard for uh, sales metric, sales target. They have different different sales team who goes to the retailer, distributor, uh, each and every uh, store by store, and they take an order. So which team is performing well? They have a commission-based model on top of it. So they have targets as well to need to achieve. So everything in one dashboard, what is the target? How much they have achieved? What is the margin on top of that product? which product they are able to sell quickly, which they need to rework. So all these kind of algorithm processes, automations that we give on a dashboard. These are the key features that we implemented. So they were previously planning to use Salesflow, which is kind of 
uh, app which salesperson can take at a store level and uh, it have visibility, okay, which is the offer right now? As a combo product, buy two, get three, kind of similar whatever the operation promotions is happening in the company level, it does have visibility. So we, we told why you are using different, different software. It can be one system only. You have everything in consolidated product-wise at a single database. So you give tablet to your all salesperson, let them take a POS screen and take an order over there. And we have given such customized feature about the promotion, loyalty, coupon codes, discount based on the store level, region level. So all these features that we implemented. So the POS full-fledged they have started using on top of Voodoo. Uh, barcode enhancement that we have given. So sometimes in such big operation, there are like around 50, 60 users of picker and packer. So mistake they were doing was like, they were selecting the wrong product. They were scanning the wrong product. So when the product, it's, when they uh, start uh, print a picking list, it's highlighting this product I need to collect from this location. But you know the, the manual process, the labor they're working as a picker, they by mistake scan the other product. And ultimately it, uh, the delivery goes to the wrong product. And it goes a return, then credit not is a big cycle. So to avoid that cycle, what we did, it's more about a warning, alert message at the right time, at the right scan. So the thing, the cool feature that we did is, when I scan anything, if it's not of Udo mobile barcode app, which is listed over there, it's give me a proper warning alert message, custom alert message, like, hey, you are scanning this product, but you need to collect this product from this self. So it gives very much insights to the picker guy. OK, I'm doing something wrong. I need to collect the right product. So the validation, it's that much helpful that they can't move further. It's a kind of blocker over there. They need to select correct product. They need to scan correct item, then and then take in process. So such kind of validation alert system uh, at a box level, unit level, padded level that we have done. Each and every palette we have created unique uh, numbers, which is having multiple items, as I explained. Uh, we did fleet management for the, the, for the truck divers. So the other headache was daily they need to send five, six trucks to different, different areas of uh, North America and having a full loaded truck of delivery. So which, which truck need to get, go to which location what kind of items need to uh, upload over there. So that management was not there. Everything was doing manual. The person in charge of the supervisor comes on a day, think about the planning, an Excel sheet, and they start doing the loading a truck. So we told, let's, let's do this process in a better way, in automation in Udo. So we given a custom solution kind of, where uh, how many trucks that you have, which are the orders of which area that you have. So based on the GPS, based on the location of the retailer, we collected a kind of bunch of uh, uh, areas where uh, system will suggest, OK, today you have 50 orders, 10 of this location. It will be club automatically as a sales order, as a batch. And it will be assigned to the specific driver. So driver get a notification in mobile app, like, OK, I need to go to this location. I need to take this truck. And these are the, my uh, today's work to do. So it will help each and every users to know today I'm what going to do. It will be everything on Udo mobile app. And uh, then they will start the navigation. Using the Google map, they know today I need to reach this location, unload five pallets, scan over there, and again, it will be real-time uh, updates. Like, OK, I've already delivered that, that fried product to this store. It's get updated. Next. So they navigate the whole route of the field management kind of app that we have used of Udo. And that's how the whole truck and driver allocation and management efficiently we have managed to the Udo. Reports wise, lots of custom report also did, lots of standard report that we have done, storage wise category uh, in terms of uh, different, different promotion wise rules that we have updated. Uh, the main concern was in terms of pallet capacity. So they have big warehouse with the different, different aisle, different, different shelf. But I'm not sure which aisle is right now vacant. So system will suggest from the system itself, there was a 3D warehouse view that we have given. 
you don't need to physically go over there and find out today's I need to upload my into this uh, self. From the 3D warehouse view itself in Udo, we have given a drag and drop kind of functionality, navigate functionality, whole structure that they are having into physical warehouse can be replica into uh, Udo with the digital twin feature. And they can click over there and they can identify, okay, my this self is vacant right now. I can uh, push my new uh, incoming inwards over there. Put away strategies that we have used, which is uh, kind of replenishment configurations that we have used fully. Storage locations over you, so you can identify, you can see over here. Uh, from one view, as an admin, I can get an idea how much total capacity of my this location it is. It is four capacity of uh, pallet. Out of that uh, occupied is five. There is minus one right now, so it might be they they are adding more quantity on that pallet because they don't have that much vacancy. Whole warehouse is that much loaded. So here they can get an idea. Okay, I need to do adjustment over there in this uh, this uh, specific area. Likewise, they get some insights. Uh, storage category view. This was the thing I was talking about, mobile interface. Uh, lots of uh, validation as well as you can see custom thing that we did. I need to scan box, uh, 200 boxes, which is each box having a 20 quantity. So from there, they can get an idea. Might be at the same location, box of five will be there, box of 20 will be there, and box of 50 will be there. But as a picker, it, it gives a detailed idea, like, okay, box 20, I need to pick of 200 quantity. So this is more about custom thing that we did on Udo barcode app. So as I told, 70% is default WMS features that we have utilized. 30% that we did custom. So this screen that you are talking about is the default one only, storage category overview. And uh, you can see, I can configure in my specific this storage category how much pallet I can configure. So depend on your area. You might be dif dif different different areas, right? So I can only keep two pallet in that location. So I can add two quantity. If the bigger area, I can add four, likewise. Uh, this is the barcode interface which we have discussed. In terms of uh, outcome, lots of improvement they got after implementation. So we did in Udo 16, 30% of ROI has been increased after implementing Udo. And the productivity of efficiency of each and every user, like 55, 60 users who are using day-to-day -day operation, the 3x productivity has been increased in terms of daily operations, delivery, and inward as well. Uh, based because they were paying lots of uh, pay in, uh, license fee to the net suit, so it also got reduced because of the UDU license cost saving. Uh, blended cost calculation automation that we did, barcode optimization, accounting. They were using QuickBook before that, and uh, as they are using 3-4 systems, so we did everything on a one un umbrella, QuickBook, uh, migrated to Udo, the opening balance, the closing balance, charts of account, the transaction entries, we migrated to Udo, and now everything is under one umbrella. Yeah, these are our uh, clients, uh, Brainwire. We have implemented uh, such kind of case studies for Cure International, uh, Fossil, Baylor Medical, Rack Ceramic, ISA Foundation, this is Super Asia that I'm talking about. Balubet Group uh, in Toronto. There is Dell Rentals into real estate. So yeah, we have done such kind of uh, detailed work. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Would be happy to answer any kind of question that you have. So are there any questions in the room? Otherwise, I have two questions. Um, Please. Please, sorry.
Yeah, so it was a part of the company. They have internal drivers, around 10 drivers they have. And we used Fleet app only. So what we did, we have a interlinked our inventory modules and a Fleet app. We did kind of uh, which are the touch points which Udo doesn't have in Fleet module in terms of uh, product, stock, uh, the location areas and everything, right? So that we have in, uh, kind of, I would say, customized. So you don't feel like you are using separate app which is standalone. It's kind of, uh, kind of consolidated having interlink or transaction between both inventory and the fleet solution. Um, as for the questions here, um, I mean, there's just a new question, which maybe let's start with that. So how much customization have you done on this project? So as I mentioned, uh, around 20, 30% customization that we have done. 70% that we tried to cover in a default manner because, uh, you know, uh, it very much difficult in terms of migrations, right? So we ask our customer, focus on customization. We give the alternate solution. If they add up to do work around, it is good for their business, for long-term business as well. And uh, while doing a migration, it's a very much pain, you know? So we have already planned for Udo 17 migration. So ultimately, as we kept less customization, it will be, the timeline will be less in terms of migration. So that will be helpful. Perfect. Um, and the timeline you, you just mentioned, what was the timeline for this project? So overall, this project is a discovery phase. I was there in Toronto for uh, four weeks mm -hmm. and uh, doing, done the documentation, drafting and everything, kind of blueprinting. And then it took around three months for whole cus configuration, customization, testing. Mm -hmm. And again, two, three weeks for GoLab. Okay. Brilliant. And I mean, we saw a little bit of your clients right now, but do you consider retail a strength of yourself or...? Yeah, so retail is our core forte, and uh, we are very strong into retail, uh, B2B, B2C, and have done lots of uh, Udo e-commerce website where they are selling online and having back-end operation, having store solution. So combination of that, we have done around 50, 60 case studies, mm -hmm. specifically into retail, and yeah, we are very strong in that. Very good. Uh, there's still a question being typed, so... <laughs> Let's maybe wait for that. So um, the question is, how much, how much cost effective was it in terms of inventory? Inventory, it was very much cost effective because uh, overall solution, the business process was based on the warehouse management system, right? So how we can optimize that operations in a better way, that was the plan. Mm -hmm. And each and every operation, either you talk about picking waves, uh, landed cost, costing methodology, uh, standard costing, that everything, each and every features we try to configure into the system to make sure we leverage each and every operation of food. Perfect. Um, there's one more question in the room. We implemented in Udo 16. So we are planning to migrate. So already the process has started for Udo 17 migration. Perfect. Then if any, no one else has any questions, I'd like to thank everyone here. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.